What's up everybody, Big D here, it's time to review The Flash Season 1, Episode 8 titled Flash vs. Arrow Baby. This is it, man. And uh, this is a spoiler review, if you've not seen the episode, go to the CW.com slash The Flash, watch the full episode there. Next week is the mid-season finale, or winter finale, whatever, I, of The Flash until it comes back January 20th, man, a week before my birthday. Anyway, uh, it should take me less than really two minutes just to recap the episode, post the cons, give you my final score. By the way, I'm tr starting to do game reviews again. If you guys are a big fan of that new Game of Thrones video game by Telltale Games, I'm going to be a walk doing a walkthrough on that. And real quick, I uh, bet you can tell by the strap, I was trying to recreate the Flash vs. Arrow scene because I'm a nerd like that. And, uh... <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, shouldn't have acted like the Flash running around. Thanks a lot, CW. Anyway, real quick, because I'm just going to be like that. Ugh. Flash vs. Arrow, you can go pick that up, TV guy, just saying. Anyway, let's get started, man. How's your day? And it starts off with a robbery, and our villain is the Rainbow Raider. And Arrow returns, and they're doing a boomerang test at uh, Star Lab. It's pretty funny. And Wells and Joe hate the Arrow. They don't agree with what the Arrow does. They, he's a killer. He's a vigilante. And of course, you know, Barry's just like, he's all of her. He's, he's good. He's, he's a good guy. So, I thought that was a Batman reference, but I think Harrison and Wells ended up saying that man, because it would be big news on Facebook and Twitter, so not. So, uh, yeah, they're doing a bo boomerang test and everything, and they're looking for Captain Boomerang, which is going to be on Arrow tonight. So, uh... Basically, Arrow and Flash, they're having sessions, and he gets shot with an arrow on his back and everything, and they're basically fighting with words, because Barry gets struck with that uh, Rainbow Raider hyp hypnotism, and he basically is just on a rampage, man, and he has red eyes, Flash with red eyes, and I believe Reverse Flash has red eyes, that's just like a little <laughs> red eyes, get it? So he goes to Eddie, which is with Iris at the time. And, oh, man, what a way, because Iris is like, I believe in the Flash. And Eddie, you know, really hates the Flash now after what he did. So overall, he got whammied. And uh, after that, the fight begins, man. They fight. It's an epic three-minute fight. Uh, just go look it up, man. It, it's so amazing. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. We'll get to that in a minute. And I still believe in you, Barry. So overall, the Rainbow Raider gets captured. I'll talk about that in a minute. And, well... Oliver Queen meets the girl that he uh, uh, fiddled a couple years ago, and she calls uh, her son, and she's like, Hey, honey, I'll be home soon. So Oliver Queen has a son out there. Uh, wink, wink, wink. Comp books. Anyway, Connor. I believe that's his name, right? Anyway. Uh, they're probably season four at most, the end of season three. Still, it's just a little hint, a little wink, wink, and it'll be coming soon. So, at the end, we see Firestorm, and of course, uh, Robbie Amell has like a wig on and everything, and uh, there always has to be a wig for the Amells, don't they? And he's just shaking, and he turns to fire, and I want him to be, I wanted him to be like, flame on! That'd be really cool, but it was amazing, that ending, that tease was, whoa, okay, whoa. Robbie Amell even looks better than The Flash, how badass that was. Anyway, what did I think about Flash vs. Arrow, man? Was this episode worth the hype? Was it worth everything of talking about, or weeks of speculations and fighting. I'll do my top three moments and then my cons to pros. Thank you so much. My top three moments of this episode, man. Number three, when they were doing the boomerang test and Caitlin was running around screaming in the Star Labs, that was hilarious. Number two, the Firestorm tease. That was hell of amazing and it, it's hot. It's hot. No pun intended. Number one, the fight scene itself, man. That fight scene, oh, Jesus Christ. I don't care if you don't love superheroes. You're going to love these superheroes after you watch that fight, man. And Arrow won the fight, by the way, technically. Uh, now, the cons, man. The villain, Rainbow Raider. I just think he was a weak villain. No hate against the actor or anything. I just, I just feel like he was a weak villain. He didn't have much to say in this episode. He had the glasses on, and he was like, Look at me, I have red eyes, I could do that. I mean, that's not his voice, but it's kind of like, really, just uh, hypnotized. You can do whatever, fight, well, I go get money. A robbery in the beginning. So overall, it's kind of like, really, that's it? And you just, I mean, that was cool that he got the flash and everything, but still, they didn't show him get captured. 
he just got kind of was captured. Unless it cut off on my station or something, I didn't get to see that, but I'm pretty sure nothing got cut out. Uh, it was slow. Like, the first 15, 20 minutes was not boring. It was just slow, where it was... I wasn't feeling it. I was like, okay, it took them, like, 11 minutes to get Oliver in this episode. Okay. Oh, there's the good reaction. Good, good reactions and everything. But still... It, it took me a while to get to that feeling, I guess I should say, of like, okay, this is Flash vs. Arrow, okay. 40 minutes later, okay, now they're fighting. Yes, this is what I'm waiting for, so, you know, overall. Uh, and the cutout, you know, cutout scenes. Oh, they could have cut out scenes. There were some scenes that weren't needed in this episode whatsoever. I felt like Arrow was kind of a wuss, not a wuss, but I'm saying he felt out of his element because when he went to that guy and he was like, tell me who owns the storage locker, I was like, yeah. Maybe you don't work so well on Flash. And I love Arrow. Arrow's my favorite hero out of all of DC. Really. Now, pros, man. The action, the choreography in this episode is amazing. It's badass. It makes you go, whoa. It's just so amazing. Oliver and the girl, that little tease at the end with the baby, that was a great tease. Uh, another one is Firestorm and just the ending of how it all ends and how Iris doesn't want to talk to the Flash no more, and all of it's just really great. Also, the effects. The effects were pretty badass. I mean, I've seen some bad effects, but these were pretty good for what we have. For for having not Flash and Arrow on a movie screen yet, like fighting one-on-one, -on -one, this was pretty great and pretty close that we're going to get. Overall, I'm going to end up giving this episode a A-. minus. Thank you so much for watching. I just feel that Rainbow Raider was not the strongest villain. Captain Boomerang obviously is going to be way better than him. But still, the teamwork, the chemistry between Amel and Gustin, Grust, Gustin, very well worked together. I think, I can't, I just can't wait for another Flash vs. Arrow Man Part 2, which is tonight, and then they're going to also do one on the second half of the season. Thanks so much. And uh, by the way, if you watch Arrow, it's been announced that Manu Bennett, Slade Wilson, will be slated to return back to Arrow. So get ready, all you, you know, I don't know what to say, you know, Oliver, I'm coming back, you know, just that Slade Wilson voice, yes. I'm, I'm ready, man. So overall, thanks so much. May the Spock be with you. Always. See you soon.